Hello ladies and gentlemen, welcome back to Thank you Scooter. Thanks for your input. And welcome back to Borderlands. Last time we finished up Firestone. What is this? Uh, no. Alright. And we made it our way to Doll Headlands, so and for some reason it spawned me back here. Oh well. Just have to make a short jump back. But yeah, we are in Doll Headlands. Man, I made it all the way over there, and I was ready to jump that ramp and everything. And it was like, no, we're putting you back in Firestone. You can never leave. Forced to stay forever. I'm going to try to finish Doll Headlands all the way through, if I can, in this one video. It's a very short area. But I might be able to finish it all the way through. If I have not, then we'll save the final boss for this area for the end. Before we head out, I want to check the shop. We got health store and ammo. Jim, we lost Jess to the racks. We lost you to the racks too, buddy. You're not really here. <laughs> Okay, what do we got? Berserker. Sure. I'm a berserker, alright, yep. Mm -hmm. I don't like bouncing buddies. Oh, they got these new ones. And they're 16,000 apiece, guys. Look at this. They're like extreme. Let's get this. Because I've been using that. Sniper, I've been using sniper. I'll get a shotgun and SMG for now. I'd like to have a grenade, but I need to keep some money, right? Maybe I'll find something good in the shops or something, and I'll be like, I'm broke because of SDUs. They're so expensive. Alright, guys. Oh, jump! Wee hoo! Yeah, yeah. See, I got hang time. Oh yeah, it's where you start fighting other runners. It's up this part of the game. These guys are kind of hard to kill. I noticed that when you first get here, you have to clear out this area back here because there's like, as you see, there's some bandits in there. This place can be tough right when you first get here. So you have to just do it slowly so you don't get butt kicked. Nobody wants butt kickage. Only I do, you know, deliver the butt kickage. Right? Right. Alright. Let's go. Let's go take this place out. There's uh, three chests in there, I do believe. Yeah, this place could be a little tough at first. So when you come in here, just be careful. That's the way you should be in everywhere, right? Sorry, bro. You deserve it, though, right? Not hurt. Hey, whoa. I don't know what that was. Say those, those psychos, if they hit you, they take your health down really fast. Unnaturally fast, too. What's up, bro? You're supposed to die, man. Since I over-leveled, which is always a good thing. Oh, man, he... Just fell down. Oh, they do fall down when they shoot the shotgun. I thought they didn't do that. Maybe, maybe I was wrong. No duh, right? Alright. I need money, but I need to get indoors so I don't die. Whew. 40 health left. I need that health. Thank you. 
Man, that stuff doesn't give you much, does it? Have a nade. Have a couple of nades. Go back to the sniper. The one refuses to hit him in the head. For some reason, the hitbox for their head is like really, really tiny. There we go. There's a guy up above me. Yeah. That one explosion took out all my barrels up here. It doesn't matter. I still got them. Wow, those uh, transfusion grenades did barely bore me. Sounds about right. Dude. This place is... See what I'm talking about? This place is... Even though I'm over-leveled here, they still do massive damage. So when you first get to Doll Headlands and you have to do this part at the beginning, be very careful. Just take it slow. Don't... No need to rush. So you don't constantly get knocked down. And you know what happens when you get knocked down? You get charged a bunch of money. Um, what good money, though. Sniper has a lot of damage, less accuracy, and slow fire rate. But I like my explosive sniper rifle. I know it's not going to last because you level up and then things will become very weak. There's a lot of grenades in there. Oh, that was uh, engaging. <laughs> that was funny. Uh, Six hundred dollars. Ooh, we got a purple. Wicked lacerator. Huh? Look at that fire rate, though. Look at like a machine gun version of a pistol there. This white one's worth more than the rest of them. That is just not right. White rarity. The worst. It's a BA, guys. And it's a bruiser too. No. Dude. Take him out. And thanks for blowing that up next to me, man. Yeah, he's down. How much I was saying? Three hundred dollars. Ha ha. Yeah. Now pushing hold, holding down the E key to pick all the stuff at once, but no, it was like no. I'm just not going to do that for you. I remember playing this on PS3 recently. And uh, controller controls are... feel like you're always handicapped. And I had some trouble in this area. Another blue. Another shotty. It's not a bad shotgun either. Look at that accuracy. This actually might be useful. What am I using here? Shotty. What is this one's? Wait a second. Let's go ahead and pick it up. It'll be easier. Hey, it was showing all green, so apparently this shotgun is awesome. So let's compare this puppy to. Dude. Where's my house? I gotta go all the way down to here at the bottom. Oh, yeah, that's definitely better. For sure. Well, that's what I'll be using. Sweet. And the accuracy of this thing is like BA. It is BA. Hey, dude. I'll show you guys how to fight Skagzilla pretty soon. Level 25. Terrible shotgun. Mm -hmm. It is pretty terrible. Let's sell some stuff because cheese. Because cheese. Caustic shoddy, not too great. No, I want a better one than that. Saw a gamble. Oh, it's a gamble, alright. Nope. I was keeping that one, I think, but I might just go ahead and get rid of it keep my double ammo key because I do like those guns let's give uh, yeah they always like give you ones that's not your class 
one. Ammo regeneration for the most part. Blood might have an, uh, extra experience. That would be kind of nice. Oh, shields are crap. And bouncing buddy. They always have bouncing buddies. What's up, bruh? Explosive stacky. That's what happens after Taco Bell. Oh, that was bad. Hi, uh, hi, thanks for keeping that dick bag alive long enough for me to pound on later. Much as it pains me to admit, Lucky knows the area better than anyone. I want to use him while he's alive for me not having killed him at all. Well, I'm sorry about this. I actually just went up here and did it without saying, but after you complete this area, come over here, jump on top of these tires, get on the roof. There's that secret chest I got here. Didn't even say anything about it, just climbed on up there. I'm so used to just getting up there and not saying anything about it. And time to go turn on the power. I'm gonna try to rush this part, cause it's a short area, it's not very big. There's the first one. Every time you get these, you get these, uh, time you activate one of these towers. These creature bug looking things called Sithids come out. It's your first introduction to Sithids. Here they come. Whoop. Man. No jumpies. Sithids. Like cockroaches or something. There's a Pandora's version of cockroaches. Yummy, yummy. And you gotta follow. See, that's where you come from. That's where you get the mission to turn on the the fast travel system, so you can fast travel around the world. It's deactivated. You just follow these wires and these towers. You turn on these switches. Kill a mini Sithid. Okay. Don't stand next to those when they uh, when you hit blow them up because they do cause damage. I love it when the runners get stuck. Makes it so much easier to destroy. Where's the other Sithids or so? Man, at that range, don't work. I'll take that little bit of health. And it's a very little bit of health. And then the last place, you gotta go to this place over here. The satellite dish on it. You just gotta follow these towers. You don't have Sithids over here, but you do have a bunch of bandits. That's why the fast travel network is taken down, because bandits turned it off. To stop those pesky bolt hunters. Come on out, guys. There's one. I hear a psycho. Yep, yes you did, bro. You nailed it. Dude, you're just standing back there not doing anything. And random guy on the stairs. Oh. Hey. Some of the shots go through, some shots don't. Watch out for the psychos, they do really a lot of damage. Target hit, yep, I would think so. Just not when I shoot the sniper rifle sometimes. If you no scope it, sometimes it just don't hit, it goes through the enemy. And you're like, okay, that's not right. Climb to the top of this place. But first, let's go find out what's this. Yeah, longbow. Okay. And then you gotta turn on the switch up here, which turns on the fast travel network. Yay! 
It looks like a certain game I know. Made by uh, Valve, maybe? I don't know. Maybe it's a homage to a Valve game. No scope. Right, I'm gonna try out this new shoddy. Okay, alright. That was nice. Hey, you. Oh, this fire's pretty fast, too. I like. Yeah, it's a fast fire rate. Reloads medium ish. But it's doable. Nice damage and nice accuracy. Refill this puppy. There should be more runners, bandit runners. If there's one over there. Oh, almost got you. The corrosive is good against the runners, I think, because corrosive armor. Haha. <laughs> oh, that really messed him up. Okay, the sniper rifle. The explosive sniper rifle. Worth it. Dude, why can't I hit him? Is he like stuck or glitched out? I think he's glitched out. He forgot to be a bandit or how to be a bandit. Ooh, look at that damage this thing does. Well, that one did a lot of damage, now it's just doing nothing. What is going on? I think there's two locations that runners can come from here. No, it's just the one. So they come from there. Just for you guys' information when you get here. You know where to look when the runners come out. Just be careful when they hit you with their car. It's a one-shot hit. You don't... You get pretty much knocked out immediately. So try to avoid getting run over. There's one place that has a... An achieve... Well, yeah, it's like a secret achievement, kind of. That's the raceway. And I can't remember how much time you have to beat a lap, but if you beat a lap, you get an achievement unlocked. Hot shots. Bandit runners. Alright, we're going to head for the raceway. But I kind of want to fight Skagzilla. Because Skagzilla is like right there. You could have told me that before I left. That would be nice. These red ones seem to have a little bit more health. So be careful. You get this far. For sure. Well, we're going to go back to Lucky's real quick. Go back to the bounty board, pick up missions. This uh, doll head lens might be a two-parter. Full fuel feud. Well, there's your problem right there. Ghost of the Vault. Scavenger revolver, which is just like the rest of them. Usually never gives you anything good. At the racetrack, and I think that's where we're going to go first. So... And then after that, we'll go do Skagzilla. Probably scavenge revolver parts because that was easy. Oh, wait a second. There's a guy that got stuck. Stop, man. I said stop. Jeez. Try to let go of the. Oh, man, he hurts. If I try to stop doing the boost, he wouldn't stop doing the boost. I guess he was following Peppy Hare's advice from Star Fox. Use the boost to get through. And it never stops. There's a weapon shop here. The back behind this place is the racetrack. Sith it. Sith it. Dude. Come out of there like a roach when the lights get turned on. Hey. Hey now. Just 
so many in here. But these don't count towards the killing the ones on the the racetrack itself. Apparently this little building is a little separated, but it's like right next to it. Okay. Okay. I need one another revolver like this one. Come back here. We got some more cities of course. Thank you. And there's one of the gas tanks I needed for a mission. Where you gotta destroy the uh, fuel. Was there another one? No. Uh, I saw another one. On the radar down there. Or the compass. And there's a secret chest here. Not at the racetrack, but at this building. But every time you see one of these fuel tanks, you have to blow it up because it's one of the other missions, which is fuel feud, I think. Yep. You gotta destroy three of them. Alright, you see these tires over there? If I can get over these tires, jeez. So you get these two tires, or stacks, climb on top of the roof. That's if you don't hit the invisible wall. It just forces you to slide sideways. There we go. And there's a red chest up here. That's the raceway, all that right there. That's about thirteen hundred dollars. That's about fifteen hundred. And since the shop is literally right here, I'm gonna go ahead and sell it. That's worse than the one I got equipped in. Okay. Yep. Get rid of all this junk. And the mini, mini grenades. You seem to get a lot of grenade mods in this game. Alright, let's go to the racetrack. Yep, you gotta kill, what, 50 of them here? Yep, and you get the BA versions. He dropped a lot of stuff. Let's use that shoddy. Shoddy! Oh, that hurts, don't it? Oh, yeah, that hurts. Yeah, let's just do a lap around this place. But if you take a runner here, and I think the start line is right here. There's the start line. And you do one full lap around this place, which is the exits right here, over that little hill. You do one full lap in like, I can't remember if it was like a minute or 50 seconds or something like that. And you get an achievement. I can't show you because it shows my personal information on Steam. You just, if you do get this game, you can look it up in the achievements, and I think it will be in there. There's something about the raceway. But you just have to do one lap, and if you fail, you just start back at the uh, start line and do another lap. But make sure you clear all these Sith Sithids first, because they do get in your way. Because they'll stop your car, or, or you'll have to slow down or get destroyed. Even though when you run them over in this game, it kills everything pretty much in one hit. So I guess that's a plus. Alright, time to level up. What am I gonna get? Let's get some more health. I need to do gun damage for sure. Guys, quit staring at me like that. Weirdos. You saw how they were staring at me? Apparently that was lunch or something. I'm getting a lot of these uh, revolvers, but they're not that great. What level is my revolver? Primal Masher at level 11. I definitely need a new one. Do you like the mashers? I like the ma mashers as much as I like the double anarchy. BA again. Shoddy time. Oh, look at that EXP, dude. That's worth it. 1300 EXP. Yeah. Too many. 
these guys can be dangerous, but if you have a, uh, or just like stay mindful, they're pretty easy. Just gotta know what you're doing, and it shouldn't be that hard. They're kind of fun to kill, though, I guess. This guy's good. A uh, good place to farm EXP, I guess. Until about level 23, and they'll be not, not good enough. Then you gotta move on. Yeah, I was, I said at the beginning of the video I might be able to finish this whole place, but I doubt I'll be able to think about it. It's a short area, but doll headlands might be a two-parter. Because, like, doing this right here takes a long time. Because, yeah, just go around killing all these Sithids. I'm close to finishing it, though. And there's no point, if you want to level up, it's just a good point to go through and kill all of them. Of course. So that's a good place to farm. Look at that, you know, even the little ones give almost 100 EXP, and then the big ones give you over 1,000. So it's worth it. That's why I like this thing. Look at that. I can kill stuff at, like, good distances with a shotgun. Because that is really good. He dropped a fire. Fire, uh, relic. As for Siren, why not? Hey, get off me, man. See, most shotguns, you have to be literally standing inside the enemy to get any damage. That's why I like a good accuracy. You don't have to be right next to them, at which the enemy will be causing a lot of damage to you. I'd rather be far enough back so I can take them out without... Too much fuss. Not unless they got range damage themselves. Just keep in mind that these guys have a chance, like the BA versions or the elemental types, have a chance of dropping relics. And those relics can be different characters, of course, like this one. Or you can get the ones that you need for your character. Alright guys, I think what I'm going to do now is go after Skagzilla. You gotta go get bait first. It's like trying to move around on this desk to get comfortable. It's a very small desk. It's one of those cheapies from Walmart that was like $20 or $30. I'm trying to be a YouTuber and put up, have like two monitors and all my notes and whatnot for my Let's Plays. I barely have any playroom. Doesn't even have a place on this desk to put a, a mic stand or one of those pretty much a scissor arm with a clip on one side of it. That's first of all, no. That was worth $6,000 though, guys. That was worth it. For the money. Not worth it that I can't use it. Because each one of your element types can be upgraded twice. That's it, after two times it's maxed out. I think all mine are level ones. And as I go, I'll be doing that one mission to kill all these guys. Gonna kill eight runners. Damn it. What was a rock then? Rock. Rock, rock, and more rock. There's the bait. It's at this little camp here. I don't think it's worth to kill these guys in your vehicle because you get so little EXP for it. Just 
Seems like the first shot just misses automatically. Alright. There's the bait. For Skagzilla. Skagzilla can be easy. And there's one of the valves that you do in a different mission. There's three of those. Could be four of them. $30 pistol. There's one more thing I can do real quick. In this base up here, you can finish the revolver mission. So they're all kind of packed together quite closely, so they're not, it's not. That's why I was thinking I could probably get through this entire episode and do all the missions, but I might have to split it up. So it'll be the next episode where I show the awful boss fight that I don't like. So there's those one piece of the revolver here. Go up to this vehicle. There's one in the driver's seat. And you can see one up there. Why is that music still going? Is there still an enemy on me or something? There's another valve. And there's the other one I saw on the ground. Let's jump on top of these carports. And then you come behind this water tower. And you'll see this rock. And this box. Climb the rock. And there's the last piece right there. And then you jump down inside. Another valve. There's one more valve and two more gas tanks. You just climb on out of here. That's probably why the music was still going, because this guy. And this thing needs to be. Why is it not doing any damage? Dude, get off my car, man. Dudes. No. No. And why is there another midget over here? I thought I killed everybody. Give me that health. Please. I can use my turret for some health, but I want to save it. Might have to use it during the Skagzilla fight. So, yeah, you go here to get the bait. Skagzilla's across this bridge. Just on the other side of that, there's the raceway. Over there's the, uh, that Lucky's gas and stop or whatever. This is where you get the, uh, revolver parts done. And there's a valve there. And a valve over by the bait. Remember there's that the rest raceway inside the building or behind the building. In the backyard of it, there is a gas tank there. Now we're going to go after Skagzilla. Skagzilla can be quite easy, depends on what you do. Don't go in guns blazing. It's kind of kind of the uh, the situation of cat and mouse. I'm looking for some health to come out of these, but not lucky. All right, Skagzilla. Skagzilla is just just like the Alpha Skags are, but a lot bigger. That's where you can do a massive damage. When he jumps like that, always jump. Because what hurts you is the shockwave when he lands. So, when he jumps at you, like that, jump basically right before he lands. So you miss the shockwave. Stay away from him because he can swipe you. See how it hurts you when you're still on the ground. There's a certain attack that he'll do that you're waiting for. Because shooting him right now is kind of useless. He'll do a tiny. There's the attack I'm looking for. He shoots a laser, and this is when you get a chance to just shoot him up. Like that. So you just keep dodging him. Stay away from him so he doesn't swipe you. Jump when he's jumping, and he's right before he lands, jump up in the air. 
So you miss the shockwave and he'll do the spit a ball lightning or something at you and you just it doesn't really do very much damage. Depends on what level you are, I guess. So you just try to avoid those, but it's not that easy. And then when he does the laser attack, you, he usually, every time he starts a laser attack, let's say he's still alive, he starts the laser attack, he always starts to the left and then moves to the right. And you can start like just stagger that laser and just follow it like this and just keep shooting in his mouth. Just like I did at the end there before he died. And there's my hot tips of the day. Alright, well we are done here. Skagzilla can be fun though. So let's get on out of here and we'll probably turn in what I got mission wise. We might have enough time for one more mission. Oh, jeez. Oh, four out of eight done. Hey, is Rocky only sending you on missions that like to scrum my stuff? Seriously, I think he's putting bad guys and runners just so you can get on to blowing them up. Maybe. All right, let's go look at what other mission I got. Ghost of Vault could be quite fun, but I might save that for next episode. We are almost done with the valves, and this like this one can be done pretty quickly. So let's do the fuel feud. Now I think the last valve is close to one of the bases. I can finish that up. Getting back in my run R. Seems like my runner does a lot less damage, and it has a lot less armor than the enemy runners. And while you're doing these other side missions, you have time to do the runner mission all at the same time. So don't worry about getting it finished right off the bat. This place is everywhere you go, there's runners, so no need to worry. Alright, we stop off at this base. If you don't want to go inside, they can shoot the fuel tank right here. Or I can never even hit the darn thing. Are you gonna die, dude? Thanks, man. Uh. Okay. That's how I usually take down the BA versions of the Psychos. You get close enough to them, but as soon as they start swiping, you back up. Hey, dude. There's a lot of dudes that come out of this place. Thank you. Just gotta level up. Damn. That's because those Sith is at the raceway. Those guys give some good EXP. There's two chests here, as you saw, and the gas tank's back here in the corner. Always room for more loot. Am I gonna get anything good? I got a sniper rifle that does almost 300 damage, but that fire rate is. Gross. Loser. It's shoddy, but this one's definitely a lot better. But that one's worth a little bit of money. That was worth a little bit of money. So I didn't get anything good out of this chest, but you can. I want to do bullet damage because I definitely need some more damage. Damage and health. Two main staples in the Borderlands series. Yeah, in this uh, play or in this episode, I might just keep the final boss in this area slash the uh, cult of the vault. Not cult of the vault, but ancient's vault or whatever that one is called. For some reason, I can't think of the name of it, which I just saw recently. Ghost of the vault. 
We'll save those two for the next episode. That gives you plenty to see in here. Alright, up there is the last valve where that water tower is right there. And let, you can't do anything here yet, but here's a secret chest that's down here. I think you do get a side mission for this, but way later on. But there's this place. Yeah, I gotta open this place up. And there's a secret chest in there. There's the button you gotta push. I do believe it is a side quest. Uh, swipe, swipe. That is a weird word. A side mission for that particular place. I just want to let y'all know where it's at. Can't remember if there's anything good in that chest. I think there is. Or has a random chance of giving you something good. Let's go back to this. Yeah, I definitely need a new hand cannon because this one's getting weak now. Seems like the game changes like a lot after you come here. It's like uh, the game pretty much opens up. Man, still dudes. Hey. When they fly at you sometimes it's hard to s see where they go. Then I always go straight behind you. Alright, here's this valve. We'll have the valve mission done. Then we just got one more gas tank to do. Fuel tank. And it's off that way. There's a base up there. Where's my runner? Oh, I'll put it over here then I. Look, where's my car, man? Oh, that's from the other runner I destroyed. I almost got the runner mission done, too. I think, what, two more to go? I'm not going to worry about chasing the runners. If they get close enough, I'll take them out. Like this guy. Stop, man. Yeah, one more to go and that's done. Let's go after this guy then, since he's close. Come here, man. Don't run away from me. You gotta sit still for me. That's, that, that's what you're supposed to do. Alright, here's the last gas tank is in there. Up there, in this place up there, there's a base up there. That is where the ghost of the vault is. There's the gas tank, there's the base for it. Guys, stop hitting me, man. You want a turret? There you go. I just blew his legs off. Go down, hey. Can't be dodging. Bullseye. I like how a simple sidestep from a bandit can dodge a bullet. Not worth it. Worth it. For the money value. There's not much in this base. But I want to save the ghost of the vault and the last boss in this area as the next episode. So let's turn in all these missions and then we'll be done with this episode. And we'll next episode we'll we'll come back here and do the Ghost of the Bolt and then fight Mad Mel, that's the boss's name. It means they're like Mad Max. Oh there's no rock there. That was just you know, look at this is an invisible rock wall right here. Why is there an invisible wall that extends like twenty feet away from the actual rock? Alright, we're gonna go this way first. Back where we started. Because that's where I got the uh, two missions from. I actually turned in one already. That was helped a guy at uh, Lucky's. So I just got one mission to turn in you. 
That's a big game, huh? Oh. And you get the elephant gun, which is a sniper rifle. A uh, sniper rifle. That's a new word. Uh, a sniper rifle with no scope. It has a pretty good amount of damage, but it has no scope. So let's equip the elephant gun real quick. See, it has iron sights. This thing can be a lot. Of, uh, it's see how it reloads. It's kind of it's a sniper rifle, but mixed with a revolver at the same time. It's got a lot of power, but no scope. And it reloads, and it's a lot like the uh, uh, revolver when you reload it. Let's head back to Lucky's. Turn in these missions. See what we get. Let's see if the shops have got new inventory. Maybe. All right. Well, I had that ghost in the vault. Oh yeah, access. The, I thought I had to still accept it. I was like, why? All right. So it's a contact by a thousand. Six thousand experience. Look at that. Scavenger revolver is gonna be something crappy. Mm, it's not bad, except this could be a little better. It's a time street fire. Actually, it's the first time I think I got something that's okay. Helix. Nineteen thousand EXP. Let's turn in this one. And then you got road warriors. You got to kick, kill Mad Mel. This is a guy that is very cheap, but it gives you your next weapon. Slot upgrade. See, I got one locked right here. Where am I going? Let's go check these shops out, and that'll be the end of the episode. Just want to see what they got. Sell my stuff. I do not want to. I might keep this right here, and all that, so everything else can go underneath all this, because that's my blast sniper rifle that I like. Let's get rid of all this junk. Recharge rate. Hmm. Extra experience, twenty percent. Doesn't give you much else though. Extra experience, team recharge delay, defense go grit and deep boy. Looking for ammo regeneration. We'll wait to buy all those. So I got, I do have one of these that gives me ammo regeneration, it's really slow, but it gives me something. And a stockpile skill, which is really useful for him. Alright guys, I'm going to call that an episode. Next time we'll go back, we'll do Ghosts of the Vault over there. And Mad Mel, which is over there. There's a door right there. Alright guys, if you uh, would like to become part of the Meerkat family, hit that subscribe button. And if you like my commentary slash gameplay, hit that like button. And don't forget about that notification bell to keep up with my latest videos. And I'll see you guys later. Bye-bye.